Contact on 901. You're uh, seven miles from Gary's. Fly heading 160. Maintain 3,000. Tell Savage on localized to clear to ILS runway 13 approach, San Marcos Airport. 160 down to 3,000 until established. Cleared for the ILS 13, San Marcos 991. I'm left just a little bit. Got the runway in sight. Coming down through 70 knots. Power is coming to idle. Let her bleed off the speed. There's the runway. Beautiful. Go ahead and light me up. We're smoking me. I flew to Dallas for the weekend to hang out with a friend, and on my way back home, I actually had to shoot an ILS approach in this nasty, nasty weather. It was quite the drastic change from the night before because flying up to Addison was just one of those beautiful nights where you can watch the city lights emerge on the horizon. You can watch yourself get closer and closer to the vast metroplex, which is just a sea of lights at night. Delhi 329, you're following him. 12 o'clock, 5 miles westbound, 3,000 feet, 737. It's tight, Jump, Lincoln 329. Delhi 329, follow 737, clear for the approach, 2 and left. Clear to visual behind uh, 37 for the 31 left, Jump, Lincoln 329. Addison Tower, Skyhawk, 80991, out of 3,400 with Zulu. Number 80991, Addison Tower, extend straight in, runway 33. Power to idle, 65 knots. Coming down, here's the round out. Or just hold her off the runway right here. Hold it off, hold it off. A little lower, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Hold it off, hold it off. There's a beautiful landing. Clear. Alright, information Oscar. Coyote 882, Addison Ground, runway 15, taxi via. Alright, so we're gonna get our clearance. Nice rainy IFR day in Addison, gonna go down to San Marcos. And we pretty much got solid IFR uh, all the way down to San Marcos, but ceilings are good, visibility is good. So let's get our, we have information Oscar, let's get our IFR clearance. Addison Ground, Skyhawk, 809991, information Oscar, IFR to Hotel Yankee, India. Skyhawk 809991, Addison Ground, clear to Hotel Yankee, India Airport. Via on departure, fly runway heading. Expect radar vectors. Joe Pool, a niner departure. Waco transition as filed. Maintain 2000. Expect 4000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3. 122 20. Go to the San Marcos Airport on departure, fly runway heading for the radar. Radar vectors for the Joe Pool 9. Then Waco as filed, come maintain 2000, expect 4000 in 10 minutes, departure frequency 124.3, squawk 2220. Test 991, read back correct. Now we're going to go KADS, KHYI. Procedure. We're going to go departure, Joe Pull 9, Waco. Always a good idea to get the avionics set up before we get rolling here. That way we're not fiddling with it, holding short of the runway. And we're going to go procedure, select departure. The Joe Pool 9, Waco. And get her in there. I got a nice slot to see out the windshield with right here. Pete Frost is clearing it up. Custom 991, runway 15, taxi via Alpha. Now, Missy, did you have information, Oscar? We have Oscar taxi to 15 via Alpha 991. We're going to taxi to runway at 15. We're clear left. Yeah, we're clear right. We'll check our gyros here. We've got a left turn. Clearance clear 360. Right Yankee. turn. IFR San Antonio with Oscar. 
Everything gyros stand erect, compass is swinging, gyros are swinging in the correct direction and correct. Clear to Sierra Alpha Tango Airport. Via on departure, turn left heading 050. Expect radar vectors, Joe Pool, Niner departure. Wind due transition. Marks one arrival. Maintain 2000. Expect flight level 220, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3, clock 6252. Try and clear some of this off. Nice and cold outside. That's a little better. Okay. We're holding short of the runway. We're going to go ahead and switch to tower and put 243 in the departure. Okay, run up checklist. Brakes are set. Fuel selector is on both. Trim is set for takeoff. Flight controls free and correct. Eleva aileron up, aileron down, aileron up, aileron down. Elevator up, down, rudder, left, and right. Flight controls free and correct. Instruments. Uh, check and set. Get everything nice and calibrated here. And everything, we checked the gyros. Everything's neutral where it needs to be. Set to the barometric pressure. Mixture set for best power. We're going to go full rich. Primer's in and locked. Rattle up 1700. Left mag is clean, back to both. Right mag is clean, back to both. Car repeat. Good, green, green, plenty of fuel suction is sufficient. And the warning light works, ammeter discharge at the warning light and it's operable. Coming back to idle. Car repeat is good with, at, at a hard idle. And the standby vacuum pump is operational. Engine instruments checked, oil pressure temp, all good, check idle, closed, and throttle friction lock is set. Run-up checklist complete, pre-takeoff, flaps are set all the way up, mixture is set for best power, the carb heat is off, transponder, we're squawking 2220, the heading bug not applicable, doors and windows closed and latched, we're good, landing light and strobes, let's go ahead and get the strobes on, time note, brakes release and abort plan, if we're not off by Foxtrot, we need to abort the takeoff. Any questions? <laughs> Addison Tower, Skyhawk 80991, holding short of runway 15 Alpha, IFR ready for departure. System 991, slide runway heading, runway 15, clear for takeoff, traffic okay. sus, not two mile final, no delay please. No delay, runway heading, runway 15, clear for takeoff, 80991. Addison Tower, November 1090, Victor, inbound for ILS 15. System 1090, Victor, Addison Tower, continue ILS runway 15, and from what I understand, you want to do a touch and go and uh, back IFR? We'll just do a low approach for Nitro Victor, and yeah, we'll just do one more ILS. Just a Nitro Victor, Roger, runway 15, right. cleared low approach, number two, minus us, the mile and a half final. Gyro looks good, heels down to the floor, full power. Gyro, low approach, number two, Nitro Victor. Airspeed's alive. And Cessna Nigel Victor, after departure, turn left heading 050, maintain 2000. 050, maintain 2000, Nigel Victor. Fly runway heading up to 2000. Wind zero seven zero at one four gust one seven. November nine nine one contact regional departure good day. Departure good day nine nine one. All right, switching to departure. Runway heading up to two thousand. Approach of Nintendo so ten sixty eight uh, eleven thousand or nine thousand information India. So ten sixty eight regional approach good afternoon information Juliet's not current at Dallas Love the altimeter is three zero 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 descend and maintain five thousand. Okay, uh, down at five thousand. So with us ten sixty eight need a report from this arrival. Uh, you had no complaints whatsoever. Smooth run. That sounds great. Thanks. Regional departure Skyhawk 80991 heading 150 passing 1500. Tucker at F. Two check on the same time. Standby 110 Delta Charlie. Turn left heading 180. Intercept the runway 15 localizer. Turn heading 180. Intercept the 15 localizer. Zero Delta Charlie. Challenger 350 Romeo Lima. Regional approach. Good afternoon. Depart Sassy heading 220. Vectors for the ILS. Wing 15. Descend to maintain 4000. Departure SA 220, descend and maintain 4000 for zero Romulo. Skyhawk 80991, regional departure ready contact, you are stepped on, say altitude. Climbing through 1800 now. 
Delta Number 9091, fly heading 150 and maintain 2000. 150, maintain 2000, 80991. Premier Zero Delta Charlie, two miles from Manu, maintain 2000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS, 915 approach. Alright, leveling 2000. 2000 until established, cleared uh, ILS, 150, Delta Charlie. Tell us 1068, fly heading 235. Heading 235, and we have Juliet, tell us 1068. 1068, Juliet, heading 9991, climb and maintain 3000. Up to 3000, 9991. Alright, continue the climb. It's getting awfully hot in here, so I'm going to close that vent. It smoothed out a little bit. Come left just a little bit up to over to 150 on the heading, passing 2300 up to 3000. Turn these panel lights off, we don't need them. One two seven six five eight zero nine nine one. Good day. November eight Delta Charlie climb. One two seven six five. Just drop that down. Waco approach Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one level four thousand heading one five zero. Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one. Waco approach. Waco altimeter two nine nine or six. Two nine nine or six eight zero nine nine one. Engines looking good. Everything's in the green. No warning lights. Suction is sufficient. Right at five inches where it belongs. Heading one five zero four thousand DG and compass check out, and we're going to expect direct San Marcos here in a few miles. Weather are wind zero two zero four knots in San Marcos. Overcast four hundred and miss. Oh, Waco two two Papa with a question. Any uh, reports of uh, being in between layers that in and around my altitude? Three two 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 Papa uh, negative. Not at this time. You're about the only aircraft I've had for the last half an hour. <laughs> We're the only oh, ones crazy bored. enough. A little bit. But don't make my life more exciting. <laughs> Negative. About 56 degrees outside. The temperature hardly fluctuates from the ground up to altitude, in the low altitudes at least, right now. That shows me that the atmosphere is very stable. We've also got stratiform clouds, widespread, constant rain, poor visibility. That's that's all indicative of a stable atmosphere. Remember, 8091, you're clear direct San Marcos. Direct San Marcos, 991, thank you. Direct enter, enter. About 30 degrees right. On the right rudder. There's my ground speed coming up. That just shaved an hour off my ETE. Estimated time and route. Alright, so Down now we're direct San Marcos. Let's take a look at what our weather looks like there. The surrounding airports are Charlie, IFR. For you. Would you prefer direct Laredo or do you want to go to the wake of War? Yeah, San Marcos is not the best. Five, oh, visibility oh, 5, oh, overcast oh, 400, oh, oh, which is above oh, minimums. Eight Delta Charlie, Roger, you can expect that. By about 200 feet. Zero miles in, uh, That's still going to be a low approach. The, the, restricted area was great as well. but the good thing is Austin, Austin Exec, New Braunfels, and then everything basically south of that is IFR. I mean, yeah, just IFR. So it's better than San Marcos. San Marcos is kind of lower IFR. And that's what I sat in the FBO waiting on for so long. I was waiting for the ceilings of the surrounding airports to come up. The problem was the area was so widely low IFR, like everything was below 400 feet. So I don't want to shoot an approach into San Marcos, have to go missed, and then I'm like gambling as to whether I'm going to get into my alternate. Victoria had like 10 mile visibility and 800 overcast, so I filed Victoria as my alternate. But also Austin has like 600 overcast, visibility like 5. A pilot will get real rattled after shooting two approaches and failing at those two approaches, and now they're like, oh my god, am I going to get down and fuel, thinking about fuel, and you know, ah, where's the, where's, a, where's the better weather and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't even want to get myself into that situation. So I waited probably for like, I think it was like 6 hours. I was in the FBO waiting, just in the pilot's lounge, cracked open the laptop, did some work to it. My personal minimum is I want widespread ceilings of at least 500 feet. And if it's and if it's widespread, it's not like, you know, just one airport is 500 and the rest are 200. Well, that airport could go down to 200 at any moment. And that's what I don't want to play with. Engines in the green, plenty of fuel. Suction is sufficient. No warning lights. Ammeter charging. Speed 
speed looks good, we're coordinated. Cross check everything, our gyro looks good. San Marcos, 17 minutes ago, overcast 600, visibility 5, so it, it trended up a little bit. Everything around that area is IFR instead of low IFR now, so that's in my favor. That's working. Everything's kind of going up as the afternoon wears on. And then as nightfall comes, everything is most likely, now I've seen forecasts be wrong so many freaking times, what's most likely going to happen is the ceilings are going to come back down as nightfall hits. Heading in altitude, heading in altitude, making sure she's coordinated, checking our speed. Put a moderate rain. Eyes on the instruments, everything looks good, suction's good, engine's in the green, plenty of fuel, ammeters charging, no warning lights, level 4000. Right on heading. Speed's good, we're coordinated. A little updraft, felt that. Central Aircraft Hazardous Weather Information, Fort Worth Center Weather Advisory 105, valid for the Waco area for uh, low IFR and uh, low visibility with some rain. Available high west flight service frequencies. Skyhawk 991, you'll be entering an area of light precipitation in about uh, four miles in an area of moderate precipitation on your current course in about one zero miles. That moderate is about five miles in diameter. And then it uh, goes back to light for about three, and then it's clear past that. No, 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 one, Roger. We have ADSB on board, but negative radar. Uh, if you could help us out with that uh, cell in about 10 miles, that'd be great. We can deviate left if possible. Skyhawk 991, Roger. Fly heading 170. 170 on the heading, 991. Alright, 170 on the heading. Fun fact, single engine propeller airplanes don't have windshield wipers because they don't really need it. The blast from the propeller blows the, the water off the windshield. Does a, does a pretty good job. Skyhawk 991, looks like a uh, turn to Rick San Marcos here in about two more miles. We'll keep you clear of any moderate. Just a little bit of light for the next 15 and then uh, clear past that for a little while. That sounds good, thanks, 991. Wake up, route station 43 Kilo Alpha is out of 14 for 13. Have the numbers McGregor, RNAV 17. Citation 43 Kilo Alpha, Waco Approach, Rogers, center maintain 6,000. Center 6,000, they have me on a heading of 180. Yeah, yeah keep with that for about uh, five more miles. The name of the game is Eyes on the Instruments. Don't think about anything else except. The moment that you're in right now, think about flying the airplane, what you need to do next, heading and altitude, check your engine instruments, vacuum, make sure there's no warning lights, check your course, make sure you're on track. Okay, zero nine 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 one contact officer approach one two seven point two two you have to do. Two seven two two eight zero nine nine one good day. One two seven point two two watching the instruments, flip flop. Contact Austin approach and we're gonna request Let's take a look at the weather just real quick. San Marcos wind 010 zero, zero at 4 knots, broken 400, visibility 4. So that's actually, that is good enough for the RNAV 3-5 and the, the wind, that's what the winds are going to favor, so that's what we're going to request with Austin on our initial contact. Austin approach Skyhawk 80991, level 4000, direct San Marcos, looking for the RNAV 15, uh, sorry, RNAV 35 in the San Marcos. Number 80991, awesome approach to San Marcos, is landing runway 13, you can plan the ILS, fly heading 210, vectors for the approach. Heading 210, we'll expect that, 991, thanks. They're landing runway 13. Alright. Wind zero one zero at four, but I guess that's not enough for them to uh, to land to the north. So I guess we'll have a little bit of a tailwind. Okay, so we were told to expect the ILS one three. So now, since we were told to expect that, we're going to go in here and load it into the four thirty. And he said vectors, but I'm going to go ahead and load Gary's in here, and we're going to load. because we can always go activate vectors to final later. I'm 
going to do the same thing on my iPad. I'm going to go Procedure, Select Approach, ILS-13. And we're going to say Gary's level 4000, heading 210. Southwest 2392, contact approach 125.32. 2532, have a great day, says 2392. Okay. okay. We're going to get 108.7 into the VLOC here. We're going to go ahead and put it on VLOC on the 430. And since we have a number two radio, we're going to put 108.7 in on the second radio as well. Final approach course is going to be 126 degrees. We're going to set both CDIs to 126 degrees. Heading 210 level 4000, engine and spencer in the green. Suction is sufficient and no warning lights. We do have a note up on the airport, runway 13 rail light out of service. So that means the chasing rabbits that, that are, we're usually, we usually see, you know, when you come down through the clouds is out of service. 12082 is the weather. We're talking to Austin Approach. They're probably going to hand us off to 19 nothing <coughs> and San Marcos Tower 12682 and tower will be open. We got ground control clearance delivery and two, well, we got two clearance deliveries. So we're getting vectored for the approach, coming back up to my instruments, heading 210 level 4000. Engine instruments are good, suction and, uh, is good. So if we go to Gary's and go outbound to do the procedure turn where you need to stay at or above 3200 until established on final approach. If we're going to get vector... 0991 contact approach 119.0. 119.0809091, get it. Great, just check in with your heading. We'll go. Austin approach, Skyhawk 80991 level 4000 heading 210 vector for the ILS. Hello, Skyhawk 80991, Austin approach. Roger, is going to be a full stop. Hey, firm. Skyhawk 991, Roger, you're going to have an area of moderate precipitation, 12 o'clock, 15 miles. You'll be in it for about 15 to 20 miles. 991, Roger. I mean, 1105, area of, a, well, a line of moderate precipitation, extending from your 10 o'clock to your 1 o'clock. You'll be in it for about eight flying miles. Contact Houston Center or Christian, maintain one two thousand. Contact Houston Center one three four point two. Good day. Eight we're gonna once miles. we're on final, we're gonna stay at or above twenty seven hundred feet until we intercept the glide slope, which is gonna be before Gary's. And we're gonna cross check our altitude at Gary's, which should be twenty four forty one feet on the glide slope. Missed approach is gonna be climb straight out to two thousand feet. Upon reaching two thousand feet, begin a left climbing turn to thirty two hundred feet. Direct to the Gary's NDB, or the Gary's intersection. A straight in ILS, 1-3 is, minimums are 793 half mile visibility, so that's 200 feet AGL, is what we're going to, we need to see the runway by. 2179, 2000, comment 4000, heading. 2179, I'll send departure radar contact, maintain 900,000, clear with payday. 9000, direct payday, Southwest 2179. Southwest 2420, maintain 1-2000. 2000 still 2420. We'll just make a note that the rails at San Marcos are out of service. Skyhawk 9901, how was your flight through the rain? Smooth so far, we get intermittent, uh, just occasional bumps here and there, but for now it's smooth, we're IMC. Roger, thank you. Departure, good day, citation 327 November, Mike departed, Austin Executive 1600, climbing 3000. Citation 327 November, Mike Austin departure, ident, Austin altimeter 2994, maintain 010000. ADSB is saying the same thing as the ATIS. They agree. If I have to go missed, Duke Ralphles is marginal, Austin's marginal, Executive is IFR, I'd probably go to Bergstrom. If I have to go missed, go missed, go up to Bergstrom, shoot the ILS into 3 5 right or left, whichever one they give me. I always have an out. I've got a, I've got a backup plan. If this doesn't work, if, if the clouds, you know, aside from what the METAR is saying and ADSB and all that, and the forecast, if the clouds are lower than all of that said, unexpectedly, then I'm going to go missed. And I have backup plans. Austin looks great. San Antonio looks great. They're not even IFR, they're VFR. Looks good. We timed this perfectly. Okay, NAV2 is uh, it's picking it up, so let's listen to the Morse code and identify it. Nav 1 is a little weaker, but I hear it. That is the localizer. 
Both CDIs are alive, and the needles are in the correct place. Of course, is that way, glide paths above me. Sky Igniter Niner 1, and turn a left heading of 160. 160, Niner 1. Sky Igniter Niner 1, you're 7 miles from Gary's, fly heading 160, maintain 3000, so 7 shot localized cleared, ILS runway 13 approach, San Marcos Airport. 160 down to 3000 until established, cleared for the ILS 13, San Marcos, 991. Reducing power, descent checklist, mixture, enriching. We're going to start enriching it. Fuel selectors on both, carpet as required. Let's go ahead and get it out. A to say, WAS, we've got it. Back on the instruments, fly oh, the airplane. Altimeters are set. Southwest 1966, contact departure 125.32, good day. Instruments cross check, calibrated. Southwest 1966, hello. Descent checklist complete. Let's go ahead and do the before, before landing checklist. Brakes pedal test. PIG04 Victor, it looks like 3 5 right. It'll work out Got for you. Got good pressure on the pedals. Right. Landing light coming on. Perfect, 3 5 right. 4 off of Victor. Autopilot's off. Seat belts, shoulder harnesses are adjusted and locked. My eyes are on the instruments, watching the instruments. Everything's good. Suction's good. Heading 160 and down to 3000. Mixture set for best power. We're going to ease it in. Carpet's on. Fuel is on both and flaps as required. We don't want any flaps quite yet. Heading looks good, passing through 3,500, about 500 feet a minute on the descent here. Left just a little bit. Engine instruments are in the green. Our descent checklist and pre-landing checklist is complete. Both localizers are coming in, so we're going to get ready to make our turn. Lakes landing north. We've got uh, Quebec. Southwest 352, uh, center approach, expect runway 35 left. 35 left, and uh, if they have Zulu, RNF Zulu. Southwest 352, uh, you can, or 352, you can expect our Zulu 35 left. Going to start a left hand turn, intercept the localizer. Not quite fully established yet. Needles are alive, we're almost on the center, so we're going to increase power, maintain 3000 here. And we're turning to our final approach path. Skyhawk 991, contact San Marcos Tower 126.82, good day. 2682991, good day. We're just going to check on, tell them ILS 13. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80991, ILS 13. Skyhawk 80991, San Marcos Tower, runway 13, clear to land. 13, clear to land, 991. All right, 3000, we are established. We're going to start easing her down to 2700 feet. Looks like our glide slope's alive. We're right on localizer. Use the power out just a little bit, carp heat. Here is down. Once we get just a little lower and we start coming up towards the glide path, then we're going to think about dropping the first notch of flaps, and that'll help us slow down and descent. It'll kind of help increase, increase lift at the lower speeds. Checking my desired track against my track and using that to kind of get a ballpark on my gyro as to where I want. We're coming down to 2,700 feet. Oscar. Listen to the ATIS, it changed. Tomorrow's Star Information, Oscar 2246 Zulu, wind 010 at 4, visibility 2.5 miles, rain, sky condition ceiling 400 broken, 800 overcast, temperature 172.16, I turn a 2 niner, niner 6. ILS, runway 13, approaching use. Notice the airman, runway 13, runway alignment indicator lights, out of service. Taxiway Delta, closed. Advise on initial contact, you got information. Oscar. All right, information, Oscar, altimeter 2996, that's the important part. And the also, also another important part is the minimums. I'm comparing the minimums to the, the reported ceiling. The reported ceiling is 400 feet still, so. We are good. We're just maintaining 2,700 feet on localizer until this glide path comes down to us. And it looks like a, a heading of about 115 is going to help me hold that desired track. Maybe about 110 now. The wind shifts as we, as we descend. The wind might change speeds, change directions, so we just want to keep an eye on it. 
Our checklists are done, our lights are on. We have the weather, we're in some light, we're in light rain right now, visibility two and a half miles, broken 400 on the ceiling. All right, we're coming up to the glide path here. Hold my heading about. Nine 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 or one, you have control of the approach lines. Nine 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 or one, Roger. That's nice of him to tell me that. I have control of the approach lights. We're going to come left just a little bit. And we are coming up to our glide path. Here we go. We're slightly right, of course, and the two CDIs agree, which is good. Good, good, good. Suction's good. Engine's in the green. No warning lights. There's a glide path. We're going to reduce the power and start down. There's the chime for Gary's. It's coming in. Thanks for the warning. I'm going to trim those up just a little bit. Reduce power to help us slow down. Come left a little bit about 110. Looks good. 2,500 descending, 800. In the wide arc, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000. There's the first notch of flaps. We're a little bit right, of course, coming left about 5 degrees. Just very gentle turns is all we need. You can even adjust it with a rudder a little bit. We want about 75 knots approach speed. I'm kind of breaking out of the clouds, in and out of the clouds here, but I am not going to look outside yet. I can glance outside, but I'm not going to fix myself outside. I'm cleared for the ILS, not the visual, so you fly the ILS. 75 knots, slightly right, of course. We're just going to correct it just to the left a little bit. Check our gyro. That looks pretty good. We are crabbing like crazy. And I have almost the perfect power setting for the glide path in here. I do not see the runway yet. Do not look outside. Do not fixate outside. Our minimums are 793 feet on the altimeter. About one dot above glide slope, reduce power a little bit. I'm controlling my speed with pitch and my descent rate based on my glide slope with power. So I'm a little high, so I'm going to reduce power a little bit. I'm a little fast, so I'm going to pull the nose up a little bit. Looking good. Two thousand feet. A little bit right. So we're going to correct left and a little bit high. We're going to ease the power out just a little bit. Increase that descent rate. And that BSI starts creeping down very gently. That is great how that works. A thousand feet to go, by the way. Coming down through 1,800 feet for 800. Come left about five degrees, and there we are. We're right on glide slope, right on localizer. Well, almost right on localizer. Don't kid yourself, Josh. A little bit left, a little bit left. Suction's good, engine instruments are good. No warning lights. I have control of the runway lights, or the approach lights, rather. A little bit above glide slope. Ease the power out just a little bit. And come left a little bit. And some light rain here. A little fast, so we're going to pull the nose up. A little high, we're going to pull the power out a little bit. We're correcting the left. Get back on those needles, so we're a little bit high, a little bit right. Ease the power out a little bit. Five hundred feet. We've got the runway in sight. One white, one red, right on glide path. We're still cleared for the approach, so we want to more or less stay on the needles until minimums. We'll go ahead and add another notch of flaps. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. That's going to give us some extra lift. My nose is pointed to the left, so I have a left crosswind. So that means we're going to need to do a right side slip. Coming down through 70 knots. Power is coming to idle. We've got the runway made. Couple swipes to trim those up. A 
little right rudder. We're just going to hold her off right above the runway. Let her bleed off the speed. There's the runway. Beautiful. Cessna 9901, turn right, taxiway echo and contact ground. Right echo going to ground, 9901, thanks. Cessna 9901, did you notice the basis of the clouds on final? Yes, sir, they're about 350 feet AGL, right about where they said they were, and it was broken. Thank you. All right, not a bad ILS. Not a bad ILS. That's the first legit approach I've done. That was down to about 400 feet. Um, that was the first approach I've really done in a long time in IMC. So, welcome to fall in Texas. It's time to time to sharpen up the the skills in the clouds. After landing, flaps are coming up. Car heat is off. Strobes are off. Landing light is going to stay on. The pitot heat is off. Mixture as required. We're going to lean it just a little bit. The trim set for takeoff. Transponder is squawking altitude. San Marcos Ground, Skyhawk, 809901, clear of runway 13 Echo, going to the T-Hangers. This is 809901, San Marcos Ground, Roger via Charlie and Alpha, taxi to parking. Charlie, Alpha to parking, 901. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. That whole thing was a good exercise of my personal minimums because it's very tempting, you know, when you're like, oh, everything down in Austin is 400 feet overcast and the, the approach lets me go down to 200, so yeah, I'll go. Eh, it's very tempting to say that and that's where, you know, people have what's called get their -itis. It's, a, you know, a made up disease that where pilots will kill themselves because they'll try and push it because they just really want to get home. They just really want to get to their destination. So they'll you know, push it and kind of fudge the rules and and all that kind of stuff, uh, you, you got to try really hard to overcome that and not give into it because it's very easy to give into it. But I sat there in the in the millionaire pilots lounge at Addison and just was watching the weather and just said, I'm not going to leave until most of the airports in my area have at least a 500 foot ceiling. And that happened. It, I, I waited probably about six hours and it finally happened. That was a really awesome exercise of my personal minimums. I stuck it out and I waited and waited and waited and I was ready to just stay at Addison another night and call it quits and go grab a hotel. I was perfectly happy to do that if I had to. I think the point that I really want to walk away from this video with is that we all have our personal minimums, and it's important for us to kind of stick to them, and it takes some discipline to do that, but that's what it's all about. I told myself that I was not going to leave Millionaire at Addison until I had what I wanted as far as weather goes down the road, and I stuck to it. I walked away from this flight having learned something new, both about myself and my personal minimums, and I think that's something really important. If you like the video, hit like. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and turn on notifications to catch more videos that come out in the future. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and stay proficient. We'll catch you on the next one.